Okay, so let's look at, we're just really practicing, um, looking at the different types of angles and really thinking about um, what makes sense, okay? And so as we try to determine the missing angle, we're going to look at the two angles given. And we're going to think about what have we been given. And we're going to think about what do we need to find, okay? And I'm gonna, we're going to look at some examples below in just a second. We're going to identify the angle. We're going to ask ourselves, are they acute or are they obtuse or do we have one of each? We're going to analyze the angles. Well, are the angles the same? Or do the angles look like they're the same? Or do the angles have different measurements? If they are different, we're often going to subtract the amount we got from 180 degrees. Then we're going to check our answer and we're going to ask ourselves, um, does it make sense? So um, we're going to look, does it make sense that we came out that our angles this are the same or does it make sense that our angles add up to 180 degrees? Because in eighth grade we basically look at 180 degrees. Okay, so let's look at the first example. So we have two examples. Here's the first one. So first of all, let's, let's see what we've been given here. Number one, we know this is a 60 degree angle. Okay, we know this is acute because it's 60 degrees. Ooh, and if we look at this one, hmm, this looks like an obtuse angle to me, right? Does that look obtuse to you? And so chances are the relationship between these two angles is that they add up to 180 degrees, right? And so to find that this missing angle X, all we have to do is say 180 minus 60. You can absolutely use your calculator to get that. Um, hopefully that's pretty easy for you. If you do it by hand, you can also set it up like this. And so 180 minus 60 is 120 degrees. So now let's think about that. Does, does that make sense? Is 120 plus 60 180? Yes, it is. Is 120 an example of an obtuse angle? Absolutely. Remember, obtuse is between um, 90 and 180 degrees. So absolutely. So this works. So our missing angle is 120 degrees. Okay. So here's another one. Oh, this one's a little bit different. Hmm. We know this angle is 57 degrees. This is a an acute angle. Okay. Um, oh, now let's look at this one. This one looks acute too. This is not obtuse. So my guess is these are going to have to be the same measurement. I know they're turned. The angles are turned different ways, but I could even trace this. Um, I could even take a piece of paper and trace it. Let's see if I can pull a piece of paper up real quick and see it. Like we can kind of see. So, you know, I could trace this and I could probably put it then on top of the other angle and look, it does show that they're exactly the same. Okay, so these are the same and so that means angle W is also 57 degrees. And that makes sense. These are not going to add up to 180 degrees because Two acute angles um, can't equal 180 degrees. Um, and so this time, these angles are the same. And so that's all you're doing. We're just practicing remembering the types of angles and asking ourselves, are these ang do these two angles add up to 180 degrees or do they have the same angle measurement? And that's it.